Hello guys, hope that you all are doing well. And we count on that now we've got our first one and the finals. And I thank each and every one of you for contributing to this milestone. Uh, there's uh, a lot for us to learn. And I'm going to do well to upload more videos as I said in the previous videos. Now, for the past months, for the past two months, going the mess, most of the messages I've been receiving from people and the companies that disciple my Facebook account have been hacked, and a lot of people have been complaining, and myself have been realizing it to the point that um, actually I received a message from uh, Facebook that someone is trying to actually log into my account, and if I'm not the one, I should make sure that. Um, I changed the password, so I just followed suit and I did. They couldn't hack me. So the question is, why is it that others' Facebook accounts are being hacked? Is it because you're having more number of followers or you're having more friends? What exactly let people hack your account? Yeah, the, the truth is that um, with hacking your account, it does not matter the number of following you are having, even though people do that because of that. But it's not about that. Because I've got to see people with low number of following on Facebook and their accounts have been hacked. And there are people too with low following, I mean high following. For example, recently, Odisheba Presla, who is renowned, her Facebook page was hacked. So there is something that people are not doing. And that is what I'm going to share with you. That is um, two-step authentication or verification. This is, I mean, a, a step that... Uh, Facebook has actually brought it is already there, but just that most of us are not aware. That allows Facebook to notify you that I mean something is going on. So if you are not the one, then you just make sure that you address it. So for example, um, me, my for example, my Facebook account, my Gmail account, almost all my social media accounts, I have the two-step uh, authentic authentication. I have it. So if myself, I'm going to log in in my gmail with somebody's phone and my mtn number is not with me <laughs> there is nothing i can do to access my gmail why because they want to verify before i can use it on, on a new device and it cannot work unless my phone is with me and this is what you have to do to make sure that no one is going to hack your account so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take you through a short process of how to actually set up this two-step verification then when we are done you will see how things go so now let's get into the video and see how this thing works all right come to uh, today's video um, so i'm going to take you through step by step as i said in the intro video so the first thing that i'm going to do is that you come to this side yes that menu icon you click on it then you scroll down to your settings settings and privacy so you click on that then a whole bunch of settings will be in okay then what you are going to do is you go to settings so click on settings very good so you have a lot of things that you set that are going through most of them the needful ones and why you need them but today i'm going to i talk to you about um security and login that is what I discussed earlier. So, whereby we are going to actually go to the, I mean, two-factor authentication that allows you. You see, they are, they are monitoring everything that you are doing. So, they said Samsung Galaxy X7 Kumasi Ghana, uh, Samsung Galaxy X7 Accra Ghana, and I mean, where I was logged in and those kind of Windows PC Kumas. That's my own machine, Android, and this kind of so everything that you do they do their best to make sure that they monitor everything that you are doing yeah so now i uh, come back to this um two-factor authentication they say that use two-factor authentic use uh two-factor authentication we will ask for a code if you notice an attempt login from an unrecognized device device or browser what it means is that when you log in with a device, they recognize it. For example, when I come and collect your mobile phone, and I'm going to use your mobile phone, okay? Um, they see that as a recognized device from me, where they're going to allow me to verify. So when I verify, they see that, okay, I'm the person using it. Therefore, I can use it. But then, 
when I go to a different person's phone trying to log in, they don't remember that mobile phone. Therefore, they will ask me some codes. So that's what we are going to do. So when someone is in the UK, someone is in the, I mean, Korean countries and they try to hack you, it's not going to work. Because uh, uh, Facebook will not actually recognize the device you are using. Therefore, they cannot have access to your account because of the questions they will ask and the person cannot have it. So you just click on use two-factor authentication. So now, this is what you do. You have... Uh, you can let them send it to you send your security message in here that send security method by sms or you receive a login code via an authentication app then recovery access code stop there okay so now what i have been using normally i use my mobile for uh, my phone uh, that's my text message and the authentication app and i recommend you try you use the authentication app it's, it's cool okay so mine is on so now when you click on authentication app you receive a login code via an authentication app so it is on already you get it and the thing is that i've already done mine that is why you see everything so let me turn it off right now let me turn it off then they still require my password oh my god they still require that i actually key in my password before they will allow me to continue so i'm coming back then we continue from there. So let me key in the password. All right, so now it is it is off so let me come in and set up so i come to use two-factor authentication then they ask which one should i want to use? do i want to use sms so i'm going to use the authentication app so click on this then click on continue so now th there is an app that you are going to use okay and you got to copy this code so copy this code you copy the whole of this code Z test copy to your clipboard then you have to make sure that you, you enter it in your authentication app so let me go to continue so now what i'm going to do is that i go and open my google authenticator this app so when you go to play store just search for um how do you call it go to play store then search for google authenticator so google google authenticator Google Authenticator. So there is an app we are going to use. So just make sure you open it. Then you just start a new one. So enter a setup key. Okay, so what's the name of it? So Facebook. Then the key, the one you copied on Facebook, just put that key in here. Then add it. So this is the code they've given me. So just have to copy it in here. Then come to Facebook and i have to paste it then continue the code is not right so i have to <laughs> go back again so let me wait for a different one to come then i can use that one i think it's this one rather let me use this i made a mistake so so as you know if you bring a wrong thing it's not going to work so you take note of that as well I think this is the right one. So two-factor authentication is on. You ask for a code if we notice an attempt login from an unrecognized device or browser. So done. That's it. So now let's try something. Okay. Let me uh, go to my phone. So um, let me try. I don't have any other. I had wanted to try on a different browser for us then we see so now let me just go to um facebook so facebook.com facebook.com when i'm going to try a, a different browser to see how things are going to work so facebook all right very good so let me key in my email address so 
that is um, um, So I'm logging in right now. It says like you haven't logged in from this browser before. Please enter the login code from your code generator below. So now they've sent me a, a generator in here. So they, so they said two factor authentication required. <laughs> so did you just log in? I just, I'll just say no. Then they said login denied. We prevent the following attempt. So today it's now 11 27 a.m. near Kumasi, Ghana, Samsung, Samsung browser on Android 7. So close, which means that they will not allow me to actually sign in. There is nothing I can do to continue. So, guys, that is what I had for you. So, if you like this video, please do well and give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video to others so okay thank you very much for watching the video so i believe that by now you know how to protect your facebook account from being hacked and make sure you share it to your friends because i've been not seeing a lot of people going through this and i believe this video will be of help to them you can share it to them and do it subscribe to the channel for more content a lot are on the way coming so enjoy and see you in my next video goodbye